Hi, yes, so it's our second day in LA and we're just going to the Citadel yeah. shopping outlet for the end of like the 4th of July weekend sales, which is really exciting. We've all checked our money this morning and we're like, hmm, what can we buy? <laughs> what are you going to get today, do you reckon? Um, I don't know. A little bit of everything, maybe. There's so many, look at all the stores. So we've covered like a quarter of the um, shopping centre at the moment. It's literally the biggest outlet mall I've ever been to in my life. We've done American Apparel and Vans and we're just going to go to Kate Spade which I'm really excited about. But it's literally the biggest, biggest place ever. And they've got insane deals here. Like you go to somewhere, well the only outlet place I've been before is um, Vista and you get some good deals. But here you literally get like a t-shirt that's already discounted and then you buy that and then you get a t-shirt free or you buy a pair of shoes and then you get half priced shoes next time round, which is crazy. So lots to buy. I'm hoping they do buy a bag, get a free bag in Kate Spade. <laughs> Bit optimistic. So Marie and I are in the queue for Kate Spade. It is, explain the deal that they've got on here. Um, so it's 60% off of everything and then it's 60% off of handbags and then an extra 20% off of that. This is literally so. my face. Yeah. We're gonna get some things. There's sure. a bit of a line. Oh yeah, we'll show you the line. Look at the line. It's like Disneyland. It is literally like <laughs> Disneyland. I think I'm gonna try and get a bright bag. What are you gonna try and get? Maybe like a black shoulder bag. Like crossbody. <laughs> yeah, like yours. <laughs> so we've just left Kate Spade and I spent like literally all my money in there. I'm gonna do a USA haul once I'm home and show you everything I got. So everything that I picked up from Kate Spade will be in that. We're just in Nike and Tyler's getting trainers for his new job, which is exciting. I might get Tyler to do a USA haul with me because he's brought more stuff than me so far. Yeah, we're having an amazing time and we're just gonna leave after the Nike store and head down to Hollywood and see all the stars and get yeah, really exciting. So we'll take you along there too. So we're just driving into Hollywood and Marie and I I'll let you know, we both got new Kate Spade bags, so we've just transferred our stuff. This is my new one. So pretty. And yeah, we're just about to go into Hollywood. What have we just found? Um, a caviar vending machine. And I want to know how much it is. Beluga, of course. What? $3,000. That's insane. Why you would ever ever spend three thousand dollars on a machine though? Like a vending machine. on a vending machine is absolutely insane. Is that not insane? It is crazy. So we're just walking near the Dolby Theatre where the Oscars are held in the studios where Jimmy Kimmel is filmed are just literally behind us, which is awesome. And these are the stars that we're walking over at the moment. Matthew Broderick. Yeah. It's Britney, bitch. the Chinese theatre and this is where all the handprints and footprints and the signatures of all the celebrities are so we'll show you our favourites. That breaks my heart. So we're just walking along the Hollywood Walk of Fame and it's quite exciting to see more of the stars. We saw the star of one of David's neighbours, which we looked really, really new in comparison to Alfred Hitchcock's, which was just next door to him. There's some really, really cool names here. It's lovely to see. So we're just walking back past the Chinese theatre and we're walking back to the car to go to In-N-Out Burger, which I'm really excited about. We're going to the one in West Hollywood, which is where everyone checks in on like Instagram. So hopefully we might see someone famous. It's been pretty awesome down here. We just went in like a $5 LA merchandise sale and bought loads of stuff. So 
So we've just parked David's lovely car, which you can see behind us, and we're just walking to In-N-Out Burger because literally the queue to get into their car park or even go around their drive-through was like around the whole block. So we're gonna go in and sit down and eat so we can keep our eyes peeled and be on the lookout for any celebs that are getting their burger fixed on a Sunday evening. Although, well, should we go show them the queue? So this is the queue to actually get in. It's gone down a little bit. Actually. It has gone down. It was down there. It was down there. Past, it is still from the edge of the door. past that SUV down there. But this is the queue entrance. You go this way, sir. I'm so, so excited. What are you going to get, Tyler? Three patties. Three by two, don't they? They call it three by two or three patties. Yeah. I'm going to get the LA one with the lettuce because I need to cut down on my cars. So we've just got our in and out. So we've got the David, tell us about the animal fries. They're on like a secret menu. Yeah, there's a secret menu of animal style. This is what I got in Rigo, which is like extra sauce, grilled onions, and pickles. Um, there's protein style, which is what you got with the lettuce wrap. That's what I got. I feel like extra sauce. So that's not on the menu. That's not on the menu either. So this is a, like basically, the same as Tyler's, but in lettuce mm -hmm. instead of bread. We got three. Very yeah. LA. And then Tyler got a... Three by two. Three by two. And so did Marie and David. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yes. So we've just left in and out Burger and it was so delish. What did you think to yours, Ty? Yeah, I thought it was good. Three by two. Three by two. I really liked my protein burger. I feel so full. We're just going to Lackworth. Then we're going to the Grove to see Marie's apartment, which I'm really excited to see. And then also we just found out as well that the apartments that Lauren Conrad and Heidi and Audrina were filmed in um, on the hills, literally like adjacent to hers. So we're going to have like a sneak peek around those as well. Yeah, and then we're going to see... We might get a night view of LA. Yeah, see all the city lights. So we're at the La Brea Tar Pits right now and we're walking over to see um, urban lights at LACMA. So we're gonna walk past the Tar Pits and then walk over to the museum. Yeah, exactly what she said. <laughs> so this is Tar. What do you think? <laughs> it's a bit smelly. Yeah, it's real it's smelly. smelly. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> so this is oh, a levitated mass. Yeah, a levitated mass. When was it bought here? A few years ago? Yeah, three, probably three or four years ago from like a rock quarry like five hours away in California. It's really cool. It didn't look that big from the road. No, it's massive. So this is the rock. Ty, what do you think? Yeah, it's a lot bigger. A lot bigger. So big. I thought when you said they had to like cut down trees, yeah, I was well, like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's a bit lame. <laughs> it's yeah, so... it, it, does, it doesn't fit on the road. They were driving it. That is so big. Just bought so the name this? rights to his own stage. This stadium. is the urban light exhibit. Oh, so it's we already, so okay. beautiful. We already it. So look how beautiful this installation yeah, is. Yeah. It's amazing. It looks like something from like Mary Poppins. So pretty, what do you think? How long has it been here for? I have no idea, a while. And then just above it, if you can see, SPE, that's got Vault House Enterprises, that where Heidi from the Hills used to work before she quit her job to get with Spencer. Ooh. What do you think, Ty? Yeah, it's pretty bright. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, David and Marie? Oh, I like it a lot. It's been in a couple movies, too. It's quite romantic. Um, I was it was in this. an Ashley Kutcher movie called No Strings Attached. Oh. I like Walk Through the Lamps. just walked up to the top level of the Grove car park to see the view and it's absolutely beautiful where we just were 